What's going on guys, JPS back for another video, and today we're going to be reacting to gun violence and U.S. tourism. So gun violence is one of the biggest problems facing the United States. There's way too many guns, way too easy to get them, and there's way too many crazy people. So, I, I mean, I don't really know what we expect to happen, but it's very unfortunate how, like, every week it feels like there's a new mass shooting or just some type of gun-related incident, even in my area and close to where I live. Like, it's not just we're hearing about this on the news. This problem is local to almost anyone living in the United States because of how widespread guns and gun violence are. But what will be interesting about this video is how is this affecting our tourism? How do people looking at the United States from the outside looking in view this country and uh, their prospects of visiting this country after seeing this constant influx of information regarding gun violence because there, there just is so much. You really have to protect yourself. So Americans, you know, if, we're, if you're living here, gun violence is always on your mind, the possibility that someone could have a gun, but you kind of become numb to it in a sense, and it's not something that we feel like we have much control over. So... I don't know if that means we care less, but anyways, let's get right into this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe, and here we go. If it feels like you are hearing about gun violence and mass shootings more than ever before, it's because you are. So far, 2023 has recorded at least 22 mass killings, putting the United States on track to break the record of mass shootings in a single year. According to the Washington Post, this is more than double the number of mass killings recorded by, the, by this point last year, which was eight. In all of 2022, there were a total of 36 mass killings by gunfire in the United States. That's an average of three per month. And if that number of deaths scares you or even upsets you, then you are not alone. In fact, those sentiments are shared by the millions of international tourists who visit the United States each year. They're seeing the same headlines we are about mass shootings at dance halls, malls, banks, and it's giving some of them second thoughts about taking their next vacation here. In fact, at least seven countries have told their citizens to be careful when visiting America, issuing travel advisories partly due to our rise in gun violence. What? Joining me now, Noah Pransky, national political editor with NBC LX News. I had no idea about this. That is crazy. I got to look into that more, but... Wow. Travel advisories? No, thank you so much for being here. Look, you know, the State Department issues level one to level four in terms of the travel advisories. Level one being, it's okay. Level four being like, you really shouldn't go there. I mean, are these other countries legitimately saying you definitely shouldn't come to the United States? I would liken this to what the U.S. does when you may visit a Caribbean country. Um, you may see a headline and you say, oh, Bahamas, D Dominican Republic, Jamaica. They have some crime issues, but in large, it doesn't necessarily prohibit a lot of people from booking that vacation there. But if you saw a headline every single week about a crime in one of those Caribbean countries, you would probably rethink it. And that's what's starting to happen in America. Our gun headlines are resonating more in places like Japan, in Europe, in Australia. Some of the big drivers of our international tourism economy. And the concern is that if we go in the direction where that is a daily headline in those places, more travelers might think twice. And conversely, though, are we, as the United States, doing a disservice to foreign visitors, to tourists, because maybe we've downplayed it for purposes of trying to achieve better tourism statistics? You know, it's really hard to get people in the tourism industry to talk about it. They do not want to appear in headlines. They don't want it to be appear in foreign headlines. So I, talked, I reached out to a half dozen tourism groups this week, and none of them reached back with any sort of comment. So in terms of a disservice, I mean, I think America is, by and large, one of the safest countries in the world for big tourism places. But we do have a gun problem compared to other developed countries. Our overall crime is pretty much in line. We've got some numbers. I was looking at this earlier. Sure. We have 41 gun homicides per million people in America. That is 100 times higher than Japan's numbers, 200 times higher than the UK's. But our overall crime numbers are pretty much in line with all the other big developed countries in the world. So I think if you're an American tourism expert or someone in the industry, you need to do a better job in the wake of all these headlines of convincing international tourists that it's safe here to come here 
because it is generally safe to visit America. So we're talking about perception. Sometimes perception doesn't actually match their reality. What do you know in terms of what you've looked into? What have you discovered in terms of whether or not the perception is actually meeting what the reality is? Yeah, I mean, the, the problem is for American tourism is that we're seeing more headlines in recent years, largely because of the type of shootings the school shootings in particular have really changed the media coverage abroad, and that is leaving tourists, uh, potential tourists, travelers really befuddled in places like Europe where we draw so many tourists. I've been talking to travelers, I've been talking to academics, and I want, I want to show you what one professor told me, trying to explain how they just cannot fathom American gun culture. Sure, we'll take a listen. A bit puzzled because we don't understand how one uh, uh, lobby in particular, um, the gun lobby, has such a powerful voice in, in what's going on, or appears to, you know, from the side of a pond. The phrase completely mad was used by multiple people I spoke to from mm. the UK. They just cannot <laughs> fathom how such a sophisticated, wealthy country like the US continues to maintain the status quo when it comes to our gun laws. I mean, I'm not, I don't disagree with them. I'm laughing, but that's just because it's the British. But that's very true. Like, I don't know why we let it go on either. Well, I do. The Second Amendment, but things can be amended, I thought. Well, I, I could answer that question for, for that gentleman. And other yeah, also, I also wanted to uh, make another comment. For those of you who have visited the United States in the past or even have considered it, what do you think about gun violence in the U.S.? Does gun violence change your mind about possibly visiting the u.s or revisiting the united states like this rise in gun violence you guys does it scare you off that's i guess what i'm commenting on and i can get that because if you're getting news and you've never actually been to a place or you're not there then it's it's definitely a lot that's that's basically a lot of your information on the place and i'm not saying the united states is completely safe but it is a pretty safe country, I think. It's just these events that happen, like they're, you, you don't really know, you never know. So I, it is, shouldn't be like that, it really shouldn't. It's the GOP that refuses to actually pass common sense gun legislation. I want to switch gears because we were looking kind of international to coming into the U.S., but I want to kind of talk about inside the United States. I am from the state of Florida. We are uh, usually inundated with tourists, but lately you've seen the ACLU, the NAACP, and actually a new immigration law that's being passed by DeSantis, and it's the League of United Latin American Citizens issuing travel advisories, actually saying don't go to a state like Florida because of its lax gun laws, because of its anti-woke laws, because of its hatred against certain minorities. Have you also seen and detected trends when it comes to that, actual travel advisories within the United States trying to limit travel or even interstate commerce into other states? From the people I talk to, it seems that probably a little more, um, it resonates louder in political circles than it does actually when a family mm. goes to consider where their next vacation is. Florida right now is killing it on tourism for a lot of different reasons. But there is a threat internationally for a few things happening in some states in America. Constitutional carry, which is now you know in half of the country, that is actually something that has a lot of international travelers concerned. They can't fathom how America's gun culture continues to uh, maintain the status quo, but they really don't understand how someone can walk into a store and buy an AK-style weapon without a background check or a gun show or you know some of the loopholes we have. They do not understand that. So there is a perception abroad that guns are everywhere in America. And we know most states don't have open carry right now. Some states do, but like it's not like everyone's walking down the streets with a weapon. But because more states are loosening gun laws and more places are allowing permitless carry, like Florida, mm -hmm. that is becoming more of a concern for some international traveling groups. Permitless carry? I need to look into that. But yeah, some of the gun laws in certain states are very relaxed. Um, like, you can just walk into a grocery store and someone has a pistol on their hip. And that's normal. I don't think guns are as widespread as the media paints them out to be. You know, like, I don't, I can't remember the last time I saw someone holding a gun, like, in person. Again, I don't really hang around people who hold guns, but, like, it's not like you just walk into the street and someone's waving around a pistol. I think you guys get that. 
it's really these... I would love to call them outlier events, but now they're just becoming so consistent that they're just events. But these mass shootings and gun violence in general, it, it is increasing, and I, I'm not really sure what the solution is. Um, I think it would require like a complete 180 uh, in terms of our country's direction, and I don't... I don't think people want to do that 180 in this country. So I think guns are going to be a part of the United States for the foreseeable future. And a lot of it's about working around them. There's a lot of places uh, to visit in the United States where there are very few guns, if any. But that still doesn't stop someone from having a gun and going to that place. Like you can really go almost anywhere with a gun. So I just want to hear your guys' thoughts down below on gun violence and what you hear about the United States and how that is affecting not only your chances of visiting the United States or um, future visits, but also like how does it affect your perception of the United States as a country, things like that. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.